Hi guys, my name is Katerina Rembry. I'm German. I'm originally from Göttingen, but I actually live in New York City now almost like five years and travel the world. I've been lucky to see so many amazing places. Currently, um, I just came here from Paris, which is one of my favorite cities in the world. But if you ask me where is home, uh, I guess it's New York City. Well, if I had three wishes, that's a great question and actually takes a lot of uh, thinking. And, and I guess um, there are wishes for yourself and then there are things for the world. And I, I hope one wish would be that we all together wake up and see that climate change is a giant problem and that if we don't start living a completely different lifestyle, um, you know, we rack our planet. Number two is, uh, I hope that women all over the world get treated better. I truly, from my heart, am a, I guess I call it feminist. Uh, I really wish for women in countries that live in war zones, where women have no rights, where women are unable to live the type of lifestyle that I'm able to live here. I want for them to have equal rights, the same opportunities, and I want them to be happy and healthy because I think women are absolutely phenomenal and amazing and they deserve everything. Uh, my third wish, I think when I get out of here, I want a pack of gummy bears because <laughs> that's my guilty pleasure. and. Uh, I know I shouldn't eat them, but yeah, love them. <laughs> I'm thinking about, you know, what to um, maybe give some insights into the modeling industry, into this job, into what I do. So most of the time I shoot a lot of beauty. I, I'm very fortunate because I get to work with people like L'Oreal and Lancome and other brands for hair and, you know, do all this incredible stuff. And what I realized, it's, it's, it's always this thing of we advertise beauty. And, and so I always wonder, what does that mean? What means beauty to me? What means beauty to, to the people that see me? And, and I try with my social media and everything to be as honest and as real as I can be because I don't want any girls or you know women out there to feel bad about themselves or feel intimidated you know with oh my god you know like her hair looks this way in the in in the advertising I'm like well my hair also you know looks crappy here and there and you know it takes hours and hours to have this perfect hair or perfect makeup and so all I want to say is come back to the idea of beauty and you know don't don't feel insecure about the images that you see. And, and I, I think today we know how much Photoshop goes into everything and how much, uh, you know, production and makeup and, and perfection goes into these jobs. And I think more and more I can see brands and, and you know, they connect more to the consumer today I think than maybe five years ago and you know what what means beauty to you you know I can't answer that question I'm not the one to tell you what's beautiful I'm not the one to, to dictate oh my god you have to have perfect lashes in order to be beautiful or yeah there's so many things about myself where I'm like uh, not a hundred percent and and but I would never tell you because, you know, what I want to tell you is what I'm secure about, what I love about myself. And you should do the same. It's like, what do you like about yourself? What's your strength? What's your inner beauty? And the moment you realize that you shine and that you're a happy person, that's when you're beautiful. Well, this was super quick and I guess we're coming to the end. And, you know, I hope um, you're able to see other girls, other interviews. So. So please, you know, check out the site, look downstairs what you see, you know, all the other videos of the other girls, because it's interesting to get a little insight into the model world, into the fashion industry, into the girls, and maybe you have questions that you want to know about the girls, so just write them down, send them, and yeah, because we love interviews. Ciao. Do you want to be my new boyfriend at the